Okay, let's start. Are you ready to pray, classmates? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father in heaven, we dedicate this day to you, our God. We surrender all our activities, our gifts, our our life, and everything Thank you for our work. We ask you all for the Holy Spirit in our hearts so that our we pray for the board of directors, our families, and our friends. Help us, Father, to ask God to only do what is pleased to you. Help us to believe and trust in you only. Because if we seek your wisdom, we will pray in the morning and trust for a day. This will be the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and give us this day our daily bread. Our daily bread will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Holy Mary Mother of God, pray for us sinners now our, our death. Amen. Glory, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Peace to us in the beginning. Okay. And now, never shall we worthy of the king. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. Pray for us. Saint Augustine, our beloved Christian, pray for us. Saint Joachim, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Alright, good morning, good morning, good morning. Ayan. So, uh, for today, we're going to have our TLE. Na, nakapagpasa na ba lahat ng kanilang mga assignments? Sir, Apo. Hindi pa po. Why? <laughs> Sir Iman. Sir Iman. Okay. Ang akin po, nag-turn in po pala kung nabawala pa lang assignment. Mm, ngayon, lang, ngayon po lang po na, ano, ngayon po lang po na, uh, okay lang turn in kanina po umaga. Nakita ko nga, nakita ko nga yung umaga before ako pumasok ay nakapag-send ka ng iyong uh, assignment na. Okay, so let's start ano? Let's start our lessons na. Okay. Ayan na. So change tayo ng ating tsura. <laughs> Ay tsura yun. Uh, but first, uh, let me uh, focus ako na yung aking mga ano, Excel and uh, Word. So last time ano last time um ang ating naging lesson was about analyzing information using the ICT tama Tandaan niyo pa ba 'yan? Yung ating naging lesson last time? Yes. I hope so. <laughs> I hope I hope that you did. I hope that you did ano. Kasi nga um so for today um so konti, konti lang tayo na no konti lang tayo muna review about our lesson last time ano. 
So mga napag-usapan natin before was um, about right, computer productivity tools, which are, ay nga, so ang productivity, uh, computer productivity tools ay software programs designed to make computer users more productive as they work. So literally hundreds of productivity tools are available to computer users. Okay, so marapakarami niyan. And some of the examples are, ano ulit mga examples natin? What are the examples of computer productivity tools? One, fifth graders. Examples? Give me one. Marami akong sinabi last time. What are the computer productivity tools? What are the examples? Trello, Evernote, Slack, to the Rezone, Google Drive. Ano ulit? Google <laughs> Drive, Drive, eh. Google Drive lang inaintindihan ko. Zoom, Google Drive, to the Rezone, Slack, Evernote, at Trello. Okay, so tama yun. So yun yung, yun yung research mo. About naman sa mga pinagsasabi ko last time, about sa TLE, last week. Ano ano yung mga binigay ko examples? Wala, nag, wala nagsulat? No one? No one wrote it down? Ano yung mga pinagsasabi kong examples? Okay, first example is, what's that? Spreadsheet. Okay, so after the spreadsheet, ano na? Ano na mga iba na rin mga examples na pwedeng ibigay? Tandaan nyo ba yung mga pinagsasabi, mga examples ko before? Letters po. Letters, tama, letters. Sige, bigay pa ng example. Wala na? Okay, anyway, sige. Uh, Dire-direct natin, no? since wala naman kayo Philippine right after, tatapos natin yung lesson natin, ha? tatapos natin yung buong 40 minutes. Okay, so isa pa mga examples ay memo. Uh, presentation. Sabi nga ni Uriel ay letters. Database. Forms generation. So yung Google Forms, isa yan. Uh, image editing or graphic software. Um, kasama yun yung mga desktop publishing. Um, video production equipments and many more. Napakarami niya, napakaraming tools na pwedeng magamit. For now, ito lang yung kasi sa ating ano sa ating presentation kasi napakarami nga niyan. So yun lang muna no. So from these examples na ibinigay ko niyan, so ano ano ulit? Spreadsheet, memo, letters, presentation, database, forms generation, image editing or graphic software. Yung isa di ko na isama diyan, desktop publishing systems pati yung mga video production equipment. Okay, so among these examples, ang ginagamit sa pag-edit and sort of and sorting of information are word processors, uh, word processors, spreadsheets and databases. So yun yung letters, spreadsheet and databases na nakikita niyo diyan. So you can put together, no? You can put together or or break down the information you have found uh, from the internet using the, using the different productivity tools. So through this tool, you will be able to check and organize the information according to what you need. Ngayon, yung pinaka-common, yung pinaka ano, sabi ko, spreadsheet, database, and letters. So siyempre, sa tatlong yun, meron pang pinaka-common sa kalang tatlo. Diba? So the most common productivity tools that people use is the word processing tool. Yan, so word processing tool, ang pinaka uh, pinaka-common sa kanila. So, yun yung, yun yung letters. Di ba? May example tayo, letters. Alright. So, using this tool, you can create. So, ayan. So, pinaka-taas, you can create. Uh, you can edit right after and then save. Yung kung ano man yung mga ginawa nyo, yung what you created, you can save it afterwards. And you can all, and, and you also have the option to print it. Okay. So, yun yung word processing. So, pigot-igot lang yan. Create, edit, save, print. Yan. And using also this tool, um, so sa, oh, oh wait, sa, sa word processing pala, ang most common naman na, or sabi natin, pinakasikat 
na software na ginagamit ay Microsoft Word or MS Word. Kasi MS is the shortcut or the abbreviation for Microsoft. Yeah, so we're just we're just having a review, no? So using this tool, you can create a diagram. So yun ang tinuro, yun ang ipinakita ko last time, di ba? How to make a diagram using the Microsoft Word. Okay, let's try to show you up. Season tayo ng background. Okay, wait lang ha. Uh, display capture. All right. So, papakita ko lang sa inyo yung yung paano nangyari na na. Ah, uh, konti lang ano, konti lang hintay na. I just need to adjust. Okay, I think that's it. Okay na. Papakita ko lang muna, no. So yan. So nagsisimula muna ako tayo ng background para mapakita ko sa inyo to. Okay, so that's this is the Microsoft Word ano. So sa Microsoft Word, paano uli yung gumawa ng diagram? Ano yung kailangan natin i-click para makapag uh, lagay tayo ng diagram? So insert. Insert. Okay, so tama, insert tab. Uh, ito, ito kasi yung menu tab, di ba? Ito yung this, the menu tab. So, click insert. Ayun pa, ayun pa nung mabas insert. So, yan. So, yun nung, nung aking naklik na insert, nagkaroon ng pagbabago sa ating submenu. Okay, after submit, after na, after clicking insert, ano na yung sunod? Smart. Smart what? Smart art po. Smart art. Where can you find the smart art? Sa atin makikita yung smart art. Sa, sa pages, sa tables, illustrations, media, comments, header and footer, text. Illustration. Ayun, sa illustration. Okay, so ito na, smart art. Nakita ko na kasi meron din pictures, shapes, icons, 3D models, smart art, chart, screenshot. So nakikita nyo ba yung ano, screen ko? Kasi kayo hindi ko na nakikita ngayon ano. Kasi once na naka-display na tong aking word, uh, medyo on na ako, hindi ko na nakikita. Okay, so smart art. So I click on smart art. What can you see sa smart art? Ano yung nakikita niyo na? Anyone this year? Kuno nakikita niyo. <laughs> Kasi ako ay 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 ko see what I'm Hello? Ayun. Fifth graders, hello. Liman. Yes po. Nakikita na po ba yung screen niyo? Hindi, nga tanong ko sa inyo, ano yung nakikita sa screen niyo? Hindi ko po malamang kung ano po yan. Malabo ba? Malabo. Malabo po. I see. Kaya Sobra pala, no? medyo. Okay, okay, okay. So, kaya pala. Anyway, uh, so dito, no? So, nakalagay dito, choose a smart graphic. So, kaya pala, kaya pala medyo, ano sa inyo. Uh, hindi nyo naman nakikita, no? So, dito, may nakikita kayo colors dito sa right. May orange, uh, yellow, orange, green, blue, and gray. Tama? Apo. Apo. Okay, so, yun, ano? so dito ngayon meron tayong mga listahan ng smart graphics. So these, these are the options. Uh, meron tayong list, merong process, so kiniklik sa isa-isa. Cycle, hierarchy, relationship, matrix, pyramid, picture, and 
uh, mga galing naman sa onlineoffice.com. So yung last week na ginamit natin ay process. So di, ito yung pangatlo. Kasi yung pinakauna all, as not least, tapos process. So process ang ating gagamitin. Ano? So under process, mamimili tayo ng kung alin ang gusto natin na gamitin. So isa isa ating, sa pinili pipili natin ay basic lang muna, basic process. So ito yung pinakauna niya. Although marami pang options dito, no. Process, merong basic, merong step up, step down, accent process, merong picture accent process at alternating flow and many more. Napakarami pa nito. Ayun pa sa hangga sa baba pa yan. So you have many options to choose from. At nasa sa inyo na kung alin ang gagamit niyo, kung alin yung the best na diagram for your presentation. Okay, so I'll choose basic process na muna. No? I'll click this one and then click OK. Okay, again, nag-click ko itong una and then we'll click OK. So ito na mangyayari dyan. So ayan na. So nakikita nyo rito, meron tayong tatlong text boxes. One, two, three. So ang tawag dyan ay text box. So pwede siyang i-edit yung text box na yan. So pwede nyo lagyan dito. Wow, this one ay... Give me a name. Grade 5, give me a name. Ay, 5th graders. Bigyan nyo ang pangalan. Isang pangalan lang. Joshua. Joshua raw, Joshua. Uh, sa pa. Next. Ano? Sa pang pangalan. No? Kung napansin nyo, click ko muna yun. No? Nag-click ko yung text box, pati yung loob, para ma-edit yung laman niya, yung nasa gitna. Okay, next name. Ano pa name? Cassandra. Aba. <laughs> Ayan, Cassandra. Last na, last na. So, ganun ulit gagawin ko. Click the uh, text box and then click the middle. Ayan, para ma-edit yung loob. Uh, last name na, last name. Wala, wala kayong name na maisip? Kahit ano po. Oh, kahit ano. Sige. Marites po. Oh, si Marites. <laughs> ayan, so ayan na. So meron tayong tatlong pangalan. Joshua, going to Marites, going to, ah, going to Kasanura, going to Marites. Ano? So ngayon, kung meron tayong gantong uh, diagram, Pwede, ka, pwede mo nang i-edit ulit para uh, pwede mong baguhin yung style niya using smart art styles dito sa submenu. So pwede mo rin uh, baguhin ang kulay. So let's say this one. Ayan, nakulik ko siya. Oh, diba? Nagbago yung kulay niya. So isa pa ulit. Click ko to Lalabas yung submenu ng smart art. Pwede uh, puro blue lang pero different shades of blue. Ayan. Alas tulad nung kanina. Okay, what else? Uh, so, palitay sa colorful. Tapos dito, no, merong iba't ibang styles. Pwede siyang naka 3D na ganyan. No? O, di ba? Okay, so that's how uh, to make a diagram using Microsoft Word. Okay, so next is organizing data using spreadsheet. Spreadsheet naman tayo. So, palit ulit tayo ng, ano, ng display. Okay. Oops, sorry. Lesson 5 na pala ito. Nag-spreadsheet pa tayo last week. Tama ba? Natatanda niyo. Nag-spreadsheet tayo. Uh, ang ginawa natin yung sort and filter, right? Yung tingnan natin yung ano. Uh, Nilist ko yung mga pangalan nyo. And then, nag-sort tayo ng names. From A to Z. Tapos Z to A. Diba? Okay, so this uh, for today... Ang ating magiging lesson na ay about um, communication and collaboration using ICT. So, yan na. So, today's lesson is, um, in our lesson, tutanan nyo yung lesson to, uh, we learned about discussion forum. Tandaan nyo pa ba yung discussion forum? What is discussion forum? Di ba meron tayong tanatawag na simple chat and discussion forum or group chat? Anyone? Na Nanaratanaan pa yan?
So what is discussion forum? Sa naaalala nyo pa? Uh, yung simple chat muna. Simple chat is about talking or communicating with only one person sa isang tao lang. While discussion forum is what? Group chat. Yun, group chat. Eh, so ano yung, ano yung group chat na yun? So diba, pag simple chat, isang tao lang kausap mo. Pero pag group chat or discussion forum, ano na yun? Maraming tao. Yeah, maraming tao na. So it's, um, so it's talking or communicating with a group or people in just one chat box. Diba? And by joining forum and chats, it gives us the opportunity to talk with different kinds of people all over the world. So, yun. So, in your age and ER situation right now, yung ating situation ngayon, it's pandemic period. So, having knowledge in joining online discussion forum and chat is somehow important na rin. Uh, we are using it for school announcements, for your assignments, to communicate to your classmates and teachers faster. So ang ginagamit natin na group chats or ay meron tayo sa Facebook, meron din tayo dito sa uh, Zoom meeting, right? Okay, so the joining discussion forum and chat, yung ating magiging lesson. So first, na you must remember, I... You first, uh, the first thing that you must do is to search for the website of the forum you want to join using the search engine. Okay, there are many different, uh, there are many kinds of forums with different topics. So some of them are, so it's my examples ng ano, ng mga, uh, ng mga discussion forums ano. So first is V Bulletin, V Bulletin, yan, isa yan. Next, I read it. So, isa, isa, isa sa mga, uh, mga most popular, no? read it. My BB. Ay, sana all may BB. Hi, BB. <laughs> okay, next, I Vanilla Forums. Yan. At marami pang iba, no? Marami, marami pang ibang mga online forum sites na makikita. At yung isa nga sa pinakasikat dito sa Pilipinas, ano? Dito sa Pilipinas, isa sa pinakasikat na online forums ay tanatawag na Symbianize. Okay? Symbianize. Ang discussions usually na makikita dito sa Symbianize ay about gadgets, uh, internet, about PC, and related topics about them. Ayan. So yun, nakalagay dyan, Symbianize, exclusive Pinoy chat about mobile and PC community. Ayan. So yun nga, yung mga topics yan usually are about gadgets, internet, and of course about PC. Okay, using your search engine. Yeah, search for an online site for forum. Uh, ano ano only mga search engines? Google. Ah, uh, tama Google. What else? Mga search engines, sige. Yeah. DuckDuckGo. Uh, DuckDuckGo. Yahoo. Yahoo. Oh, ba? Diba? Bing. Ah, tama Bing. So yan, napakaraming mga ano no, maraming kayang ginagamit na Uh, was this search engines okay so for the date we're going to take a look search um okay lang yung aking laptop ay medyo mabagal hindi <laughs> makapag-search uh, gusto sana ipakita nyo kung paano ano, no? kung mag gusto sana itry uh, mag-search ano Ayun, uh, medyo pumukas, pumukas na yung ating search. Okay, uh, let me just first. Ayun, naglag na. Wait lang ha, naglag yung aking ano. <laughs> naglag na yung aking laptop. Okay. Yeah, just ko lang yung aking... Alright, ito na. Okay, so ito na yung ating ano, no? Uh, nagbago na yung background ko, right? Yeah, so 
So nasa dito ay tayo ngayon sa Google. Okay, Google search engine tayo ang gagamitin natin. Ano? So let's try to look for Symbionize. Yan. So from ito na yung ating search engine. So at, ito ang ating search bar. Okay, so pwede rin dito sa taas. Address bar and search bar din to. Pwede rin dito mag-type. Pwede rin dito mag-type. Okay, o limbawa. Um, so mapakita niyo, no, pagkaklik ko sa kanya, may bumaba. No, naging, na, nakita niyo yung mga dati kong ano, yung history. Yung aking mga search history. So yun yan lagi ang mangyayari dyan. Okay, Symbionize. Ayan, Symbionize. Yung bas na. So just going to, after ko matype yung Symbionize, I'm just, I'm just going to press enter. So yun na. So nandito tayo sa, sa, ano, sa mga results, ano? result page. So Symbionize, I'm just going to look for Symbionize dito kung nasaan siya. PinoyGeeks.com TechPinas Ito uh, na, Symbionize na dito. Okay. So Symbionize sign up or login ports. Ito na, natin tayo sa Symbionize. Okay, so first thing that you must, uh, yun nga, so nakapag-search na tayo, nakita natin sa search engine yung ating hinahanap. So ang next naman natin gagawin ay, um, okay, switch back tayo. <laughs> Balik natin yung ating presentation. Okay, so ito na yung next natin. So once na halimbawa nahanap na natin yung gusto nating mahanap sa ating search engine. So next ay to... Um, you have to own an account first. So, siyempre, it, um, it's a must. No? So, before you can join a discussion forum, nga, alimbawa, sa Symbionize, you must first have to an account. If you already have one, kung meron na kayo, you will just need to log in to be able to join conversations under the forum. So, ganun lang gagawin nyo. So, let's try, ano? Subukan natin mag-join. Ayan, mag-join si Sir Eman. <laughs> okay, so... how to register na kalagay dito. Uh, balik saan tayo, no? Okay, so kailangan ko palang mag... Ganun na ako. Mag-direct mag tayo ng ano. Ayun, nako sorry. Uh, Down yata yung ano, nakadown yung ating Symbionize, ano? So, hindi tayo makakapag ano ngayon. Hindi tayo makakapag-log in sa kanila. Nakadown yung kanilang website. Anyway, sige. Balik naman tayo, ano? Since down sila, so mamaya na, mamaya na uli siya. Or next time na uli. Anyway, uh, so more theoretical tayo. So before you join, sabi mo, you, have, you, need to, you need to have an account first. Okay, so next, I, so if you have logged in successfully, just choose and click the title of the forum or conversation you want to join. So yun yung next natin. Sayang, hindi ko mapapakita sa inyo yung, ano, yung mga discussion forum. I don't know what happened with your site, kaya pala hindi ko ma, di ako makapag-log in kanina pa. Okay, so, so next natin, there are different threads uh, in each forum name wherein the topics are more particular. So just click, you just have to click the title of the thread you want and you will see the conversations of the members. And of course, you will be able to join them too. I give you an assignment. What is, what is the meaning of thread? A thread is a string of message that make up conversation. Right, tama. About yours, Mateo? Just tatlo lang kayo nakapag eh. What is thread? Alin po? Thread. What is thread? Kayo na lang ni, ano, kayo na lang ni James ang walang recitation dito. 
si si Uriel, si Hermione and si Angel nakapag-recite na. Yun po yung assignment. Hindi. <laughs> yes, yung assignment. What is thread? Ano ulit yung ibig sabihin ng thread? Para mas maintindihan yung mga pinag yung mga dinidiris sa stand. Ano pong number? Ano bang question? Kinopya mo ba yung question? Hindi po. Oh, Ay, oh po. Oh, oh yun. Oh, what is thread? Hanapin mo kung alin yung question na yun. What is the meaning of thread? What is thread? Or the nothing to learn. Babasahin ko po hindi. Hindi. <laughs> Iiyakan mo. <laughs> uh, go ahead mo tayo. Read. It is an online discussion site where people and hold conversation in the form of posted, posted messages. Messages. Okay, so tama na tama rin yung mate yun. No? So, yun nga. Uh, thread. Ayan. Hindi yun sinulid, ha? <laughs> Hindi sinulid ang thread. <laughs> so, we're talking about ICT. Hindi, wala pa tayo sa home economics. So, pag home economics, pag, 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 pag nagtanong ako na about thread, is about sinulid. So, sa Pilipinas, sinulid. So, thread is a string. Ano? It's a string of messages that make up a conversation. So, thread begins with an initial message and then continue as a series of replies or comments. Halimbawa na lang, actually, pwede rin sa Facebook. Ano? Facebook is also a discussion forum. Halimbawa, nag-post si Sir Iman about, uh, about a certain topic. Si Mateo biglang nag-comment sa aking topic. Ano? Tapos si James nag-comment nag, ano nag din. Nabasa ni Uriel yung topic. Binasa niya yung, binasa niya yung mga comments ni Mateo at James. Tapos nagbigay rin siya ng comment. Hanggang si Angel at si Hermione, nagbigay rin ang kanya-kanyang comment. So yung tawag doon sa mga comments ninyo, they are called threads. Masabi nga, string of messages that make up a conversation. Tapos doon na kayo biglang mag-uusap. Diba? So from your from the first topic na ipinost ng Sir Iman, biglang nagkaroon na ng conversation kayong lima. Pinag-usapan nyo na itong call doon. So that's what, that's what you call thread. Okay, you're done? Done copying? Okay, how about your menu? Are you done? Okay na, sige. So, joining discussion forum chat pa rin. So, next is, number five natin, inside the thread. And so, so you, you must read the previous conversations of the members and then scroll it until the end. So, sabi ko kanina, si Mateo nag... So sabi ko kanina si Mateo nag uh, nag ano nag comment sa topic ko. Tapos si James nag comment, si Uriel nag uh, nag comment din. So ang gagawin naman halimbawa si Angel nabasa niya yung aking topic. So siyempre babasahin din dapat niya yung mga uh, yung mga comments para mas maunawaan niya yon yung mga yung mga nagiging usapan na. And then after you read or after you read and understand the flow of their conversations um Click the reply, and click the reply button. Type your message inside the box and click send to join the discussion. And your message will be read by everyone in the thread. Yon. So, alam ba? Lalo na rin sa yung mga bagong mahahakita nung nung thread niyo. So, topic ole. Nagpost sir ima na topic. Ulit ko lang yung example ko. No? Si Mateo ng comment. Si Uriel ng comment. Si James ng comment. Si Angel nabasa niya ngayon yung thread. Nag-comment din siya. And then afterwards Hermione nabasa rin niya yung nabasa rin niya yung uh, topic and then binasa niya yung thread ng messages simula kay Mateo, papunta kay Uriel, kay James, kay kay Angel. So nung nao nung naunawaan na niya yung mga pinag-uusapan. Okay, so nung naunawaan na yung pinag-uusapan, saka nga siya nagbato ng comment. Nag-type siya do sa comment box. Okay. So I think that's it for the joining discussion forum and chat, ano? And 
Okay, sorry. <laughs> Nakita niyo yung sa thread. Tapos yun nga, if you want to create your own forum or thread, so you just have to click a new message button at the side of the website. Ano? Or sa Facebook naman kasi, pwede ka mag-post of anything you want, di ba? Tama? Pwede ka mag-post. Alamawa, what a lovely day. It's it's a beautiful Wednesday today. Uh, meron tayong, uh, we have a very um, shiny sun right now. Bright sun for today. So from that certain topic, biglang si Mateo nag, ano ulit, si Mateo lagi nakikita ko na. <laughs> si Mateo nag, ano, nag, nag comment, nag reply siya. Uh, sabi niya, hindi naman shiny eh. Umambun nga kanina. Di ba? Tapos biglang si James ole nag reply sa sinabi ni, ni Mateo. Umambun kanina pero saglit lang. Ayan. Naramdaman niyo ba kanina umulan? Apo. Ayun. So, yun yung kanina. No? Hindi so, po. Ayun lang. <laughs> so, so, yun ang pwede niyo maging comment, di ba? So, sabi, o, alimbawa, nagpost ako, naramdaman niyo ba na umulan? So, si Angel, yes, naramdaman ko po. So, nag-reply. Si Mateo, hindi ko naramdaman. Bigla si Hermione nag-comment ulit. Kasi manhid ka. <laughs> ah, di ba? <laughs> so, yun, yun yung naging in-trend. So, from from a search from a specific topic nagka, nagkaroon ng different nagkaroon na ng conversations sa mga comments di ba so you, that's what you call thread okay so kung kayo naman if you want to create your own forum or thread so kayo naman pwede kayong mag-post agad pwede kayong mag-post through Facebook pwede kayong mag-post through Symbianize pwede kayong mag-post sa iba pang mga uh, online forum sites. Yung nga, yung mga pinagsabi ko nila si my BB, sana all my BB. Uh, what else? Meron ding V B, uh, V bulletin, um uh, Reddit, Vanilla forums 'yan. So 'yun yung mga example sa pinagkikita ko kanina, no. And yung nga, any is there any question? So that's all for today. Ayun uh, na yung ating yun yung ating lesson ano uh, about joining discussion forum and chat. See, about thread, how to explain siya about thread although there's uh, wala yung thread sa inyong ano sa inyong lesson material. Any question? Wala po. Wala po. Wala okay, po. So, so it means pwede ko na ipakita to. So be ready for a quiz on Friday ano. I won't yes. be giving you any more assignments tomorrow. Wala kayong assignment bukas. Wala kayong activity tomorrow sa TLE. But, so instead, sa Friday tayo magkakaroon ng quiz, okay? Sir Eman. Yes. Po. Meron po ba tayong assignments sa TLE? Uh, ano lang, 